Well, welcome back to our live stage show, folks. Chris Waters here to take a look at some gravity manipulation in inversion. Joining me is Rick White, producer on the game. Rick, thank you for coming. Welcome to the stage. Thanks. It's great to be here. Yeah, how's E3 going for you guys so far? It's going really well. It's been pretty steady, pretty busy. It's exciting to talk about it. Excellent. So give, give folks who maybe don't know what, what's up with inversion, give us the, the overview real quick. Sure. Inversion is a third-person action shooter where we've um, taken the gravity and we really tried to change it up and really immerse you into the world mm -hmm. and we weaponize the gravity so now you're manipulating gravity around you. Uh, weaponizing gravity, I, that's something I can get behind and so are we gonna, we're going to see that in action here but set the stage for us. Obviously we're underground in some sort of magma cave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so where we are is, uh, this is probably midpoint through the game. Basically you're playing Davis, you're a, a cop and your world's been turned upside down, things have been ripped apart by gravity, and your daughter's gone missing, your wife was killed, and so you're fighting back against this unknown enemy force using their technology, which is the gravity, oh, to wow. basically navigate through this war torn world and find your daughter. And so we just saw him, uh, you know, sort of lifted those enemies up into a cloud of low gravity and then did almost like a, a, a leash, like, get, yeah, get yeah. it over here, like, so talk to us about that's a low gravity power? Yeah, so you have low gravity and heavy gravity. Low gravity pops stuff up in the air, and when it's in the air, you can grab it, you can use it as mobile cover, say if you grab a car, you can put the car in front of you, and it deflects the bullets for a certain period of time. Handy. And then eventually it'll blow up, and then um, you can grab explosive barrels, because everybody likes to blow up stuff. Absolutely. Um, and then in heavy gravity, you're able to pin things to the ground, and so if you have a bunch of guys coming at you, you can pin them all to the ground, throw a grenade, and take them out pretty quickly. So they, they can't scatter. Exactly. They just, all they can do exactly. is watch in horror. <laughs> also, they are, are we seeing those guys are pinned to the ground? Yep. Yeah. So you got that, like, uh, the red-blue visual in distinction? Yeah, so the player knows between high and low G. Um, you can also do what we call a shockwave, which basically, if you're getting overwhelmed by a lot of things, you activate the shockwave, and it basically throws guys up in the air into zero gravity around you, sort of thing. Is that what we just saw? Sort of. That's why there's all this debris hanging well, in the Well, that's from all the low gravity that he had shot earlier, okay. so it's persistent for a certain period of time. And now that was a nice little trick. He threw, you know, sort of a, a crate at the tower, and the tower toppled to the ground. Right. Talk about uh, destructibility here in Inversion. Yeah, and part of the thing is, we, as part of the weaponizing gravity, we want to make sure there's a lot of stuff that you can pop in the air and grab and use as a weapon. And so we we'll also have challenges in the game where, say you're advancing on a strong point, a big killing zones in the middle, and so what you might do is use your heavy gravity to pull these crates that are being tied up to the top uh -huh. of a bar, bring it down to take cover so you can advance a little bit. And there's that shockwave yep. throwing the guys, throwing the onrushing shirtless dudes with pickaxes. Yeah, off. these guys have very few hit points. <laughs> but they do have a lot of blood inside of them, judging they from do. what we just they saw. <laughs> now, I was see, I, I was watching the trailer you guys were showing here. And uh, at one point, he seems to lift a guy into the air and then cause him to just explode entirely. Yeah, so once the guys are in the air, they're kind of vulnerable. And what you can do is you can pull them to you and do what we, just a quick kill, and just yeah. smack them to the ground or whatever. Nice. And you got a little friend there either. alongside. Uh, so that begs the question, is this single player campaign cooperative? Exactly. So you can play as your, your buddy Leo as well play through the whole game co-op wise. Excellent. Play. And it makes a lot more new, new, new dynamics. For example, you now, like I mentioned, the car. So I can have the car in front of us and your partner can be shooting under it sort of thing. Okay. So we kind of change it up. And you guys both have the same kind of gravity powers. So exactly. it can be just double trouble. Exactly. And so what you'll see in a minute is we'll begin to an area that we have vector changes. Now we've got a question coming in from Christian in Illinois, um, wondering about player progression uh, throughout the single player campaign, you know, I guess gaining powers, is there experience, I mean new guns and stuff probably probably yep. a given. You'll get new guns as you advance on, uh, defeat bosses and just advance to the game. You have different type of weapons, but a lot of it's going to come around the grab link and your grab link becomes more and more powerful. So for example, like we were talking about the car, early on you're not going to be able to lift the car. Mm -hmm. But as you progress and you get more powerful using your grab link, that gets better at, at doing stuff and you'll uh -huh. be able to lift a car or whatever. You get so stronger and yeah, stronger. Yeah. So in, in addition to getting stronger, is there a new, 
there like a later in the game kind of grab power? That no, it's less. Needs? It's less about that versus the grab link. You might have a power later on that. Um, Try to figure out how much I can talk about. So yeah, that's, that's all right. Um, we hope to basically have, I think, three to four different levels to the gravity, mm -hmm. uh, grab link, and how you use it. And so you're unlocking these abilities you progress to the game. Cool. So getting more and more powerful and being able to do more and more with gravity as you progress. And now a, a lot of folks are asking, a, a, you know, we talked about cooperative, but Bruno from Brazil wants to know about any multiplayer mode you guys are you have. We're showing multiplayer here today at E3, and um, imagine right now you're seeing a vector change. Okay, yeah, those dudes are not on the floor. Or are they on the floor and you're on the wall? Uh, hey, we don't know. <laughs> we'll say they're on the wall. So what you need to do is you need to figure out how do you... Grow how does the grenade in your weapons get modified by the gravity as you're changing from wall or even the ceiling? At some point, you might be on the ceiling and they're on the ground sort of thing. Oh, wow. So we're really messing with gravity and how it impacts your weapon and how you interact with the enemy. I um, guess, yeah, throwing something at an enemy gets a little more complicated when it's not just the gravity that you're putting behind it, it's other environmental gravity fields at play. Well, and also cover. Now you're being shot from different angles. How do you use cover? And that's where that mobile cover comes in. Maybe I'm now using my, that vehicle to kind of block some of the cover as my guy. Okay, so over when you're because when you're holding the vehicle, you can, you can move steer where you want to where you want to be blocking. From. And you can drop it wherever you want, sort of thing. Okay. But now imagine multiplayer in this, where you're fighting multiple players on the wall or in the ceiling. You're jumping between these different vectors, sort of thing, and you get shot in the air with gravity and so forth. We have 16 player multiplayer, back to your question. Which, you know, seeing, you know, thinking of people walking along that bridge, I see like hanging vertically. Are you guys making like a special downloadable MC Escher stair house level? <laughs> That'd be awesome. That'd be pretty out. cool, right? That's a good idea. It definitely begs for it. So, 16 player multiplayer, and now the, sing the, the gravity wells or the singularity points flows. You can only uh, hop from wall to, to floor yeah, at these the designated conduits. points. Oh, yeah. okay, conduits. Yeah. Oh, I see. And so, I guess that that giant lava waterfall gives you the helps orient you, right? Gives exactly, you the exactly. Okay, actually, exactly. yes, I am on the on the wall right now. Yeah, and then we'll also have areas that are like bubbles of zero gravity, where bubbles appeared in the world and it's ripped the environment apart. And so the player is going to have to learn how to go through these zero gravity environments using the grab link to grab different points and at the same time how does he fight enemies who are used to that zero G environment. Sort of so the en your enemies, I mean this is a power you get, you've sort of co-opted from them. Exactly, you're and still so, in the grab link when you were in prison early in the game. And so maybe they're a little bit better at it Much than you. Much more effective, yeah, exactly. Interesting. Exactly. So these guys are on the ceiling that you're fighting right now. And now so as you jump around through the through the conduits, you're playing with perspective, you know, and, and your idea of which way is up, which way is exactly. down. In the trailer, there was a moment where it almost seemed like the perspective came out of this sort of behind the character third person view and went into almost like a two dimensional contra style view. Right, right, right. Is that are you guys talk about that? Are you play how are you sort of ex experimenting with that throughout the campaign? Well, we're playing with it. We haven't really decided what we're doing with it yet. Okay, um, we're still teasing with it, honestly. And now Hafiz from Malaysia wants to know about bosses because you know we saw sort of a, a big hulking dude earlier. Yeah, yeah but he's one of our mini, mini bosses. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have bosses throughout the game. Um, some of those will be vulnerable to different type of gravity. Some of them you'll have to use gravity to grab a certain type of weapon or, mm -hmm. or debris or it's like he could grab bubbles of lava out of the lava right now and use those as weapons. Oh, that's thing, handy. To, to launch the lava balls, sort of nice. thing. So, we hope that as we progress and we introduce new features to the grab link, we're also introducing new enemies and new bosses. Neat. Now, you're using gravity powers on the enemy, but presumably at some point, and certainly in the multiplayer, you're going to be the victim of gra gravitational manipulation. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. do you have any recourse when you're the guy just floating in low grav? It sucks. I mean, you're not <laughs> you're not as effective as shooting, but you can move a little bit in, when you're floating, especially in zero G. We need some counters. Uh huh. But as you progress, we'll definitely have counters to it. It might take a lot of energy, but you'll be able to break out of either floating or being pinned to the ground. 
Okay, so now energy is a resource that you use to power your grav powers. Right. Now, how is that replenished throughout the campaign? Does it just sort of regenerate slowly? It regenerates slowly, and then there's going to be pockets of gravity uh, pools that you're able to go to that will regenerate much more quicker. Okay. As well as we have um, little power-ups that you can find, like in multiplayer, that will give you a quick boost. Quick. Yeah. Which I imagine can make the difference between you being stuck to the ground and watching a grenade blow you up and. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> but yeah, the enemies will definitely be using gravity against you. Now, we're seeing right now, I mean, you're obviously in the, mid, in the middle of a great rent in the earth. There's magma bubbling up. There's, you know, this is maybe like sort of the uh, near the enemy stronghold or uh, in the enemy territory. You're in enemy territory. Can we say that? Yes, you are in enemy territory and basically okay. this was an enemy uh, compound that they believe were holding children mm -hmm. and so that's kind of these guys were infiltrating into it to try and figure out you know who's my daughter here because he's looking for his kid yeah, we're kind of close to the end of the demo. Can you give us an example of another uh, environment we can, we're going to see? Well, what we can do here is, since he's at the end, he'll show, that's what I'm going to be oh, one wow. of our zero uh, G environments. So as he comes All up around, in there? he'll be able to navigate through that zero G. Navigate through it and hopefully avoid those lava streams? Exactly. <laughs> or explosions. Or use lava. them to your advantage, as you were saying. Or use them or. as you engage enemy guys coming through it after you. Exactly. Excellent. Uh, so, Rick, thanks for bringing Inversion by. Anything else you want to mention before we wrap up the demo? No, I think we pretty much have touched on everything. I mean, it's pretty exciting. As you can see, the gravity is really been immersed into the environment, not just in the gameplay, but the environment itself is part of that gameplay. Mm -hmm. and so I think, uh, I think we're hitting it. It's cool. Excellent. Now, for people who are intrigued by the idea of gravitational manipulation and throwing lava balls at enemies, like like me. Uh, when are we going to be able to get our hands on Inversion and what platforms is this going to be available for? So Inversion's coming out February 7th, 2012, uh, PlayStation 3, 360, and PC. All right, Rick, thank you so much for coming awesome. by. Thank you. Folks, we're going to head back out onto the show floor. We've got an interview for one of the games featured here at E3. Tune in and find out what game it is going to be.